I recently learned that Evangelii Gaudium, the joy of the gospel, Pope Francis's recent apostolic exhortation, has become the source of some controversy, especially in the United States. And specifically, the controversy surrounds his comments about the economy. One of the dangers that we always face as Americans is we tend to be very ethnocentric. So when we read something, we always read it as if it's geared towards us specifically. I mean, we can think to the way in which we look at the world news in which that's reported in the United States. World news in the United States, for those who are unfamiliar, is reported as what the United States is doing elsewhere in the world or how something in some other country affects an American or affects us. It's hardly world news. We hardly hear about how something in England is affecting something in Ireland, for example. It's always based on us and our circumstances. And this becomes dangerous when we read church documents because the Americans within the Catholic Church represent roughly 4%, 6% maybe, of the Catholic population. So it's a very small percentage. And the Pope, when he writes an exhortation or an encyclical or when he's addressing the entirety of the church, is not dealing with just 4%. He's dealing with the entirety of the church. And so it becomes important for us to remember that this is not geared towards us specifically and our specific circumstances. Nevertheless, we have to take these words and apply them to our circumstances. So certainly, the Pope is not coming out and saying, I am critical here of the American system of economics. That's not at all what he's saying. But he does lay forth some principles, and some of those do affect our system of economics here in the United States. But what he's saying is really nothing new. It's nothing that wasn't said, for example, by John Paul II, or even by Benedict XVI, who wrote about some of these economic issues and injustices that we see. And the main point that I think has really gotten under some people's skin is the fact that the Pope says that we can't create an economy that's based solely on profits. So we can't look at the world and say, how can we maximize profits? Because that's not going to lead us to our ultimate goal as human beings. So often, he says, we put our faith in just that, in maximizing profits and in increasing wealth. And he says, but that's never going to bring about true justice. And any system of thought that says that if we just increase wealth, that justice will be served is misguided. And I think he's right on that. Certainly that would be true, that the human condition is so much more than just our material world and creating wealth. There's a spiritual well-being that needs to be looked at, and that needs to be taken into consideration in all things, including in our economy. And that's what the Pope is saying. So he says, when we look at developing an economic system, we can't just purely look at the financial aspect of it. We need to look at what is good for all people? What's going to be fair for all people? What's going to be just for all people? And sometimes that might not be maximizing profits because profits could be maximized, for example, by laying off a lot of labor force. And he does use that as an example. And so that profits could be maximized. But the only thing is that's not good for the entire community because when several people are unable to work, what happens is you might have profits that increase, but they all go to one group of people while so many people are left out and don't have their basic needs met. That's what the Pope is talking about in these systems. He's not saying that capitalism isn't of itself a bad system, but rather he's saying in any system we need to consider the common good for all, and we have to say sometimes that might be sacrificing the maximization of profits or of wealth in order to best serve all people. That's what the Pope is saying. But he's not laying forth, for example, a specific system of economics, nor is he condemning a specific system as a whole, but rather he's condemning certain ideas that work their ways into certain economic systems. And so that's the important thing to realize. It's not an outright condemnation of capitalism. He's not saying that we shouldn't have free markets or anything like that. But he does say that in any system of economics, we need to take into account the human person. I think the key to understanding this and to fully understanding what the Pope is saying comes actually in paragraph 208. So much emphasis is put on 204 in this. But let me read paragraph 208 to you. It says, If anyone feels offended by my words, I would respond that I speak them with affection and with the best of intentions, quite apart from any personal interest or political ideology. My words are not those of a foe or opponent. I'm interested only in helping those who are enthralled to an individualistic, indifferent, and self-centered mentality to be freed from those unworthy chains and to attain a way of living and of thinking which is more humane, 
noble, and fruitful, and which will bring dignity to their presence on this earth. See, that's it right there. He's saying, basically, I'm seeking to uplift you. I'm seeking to bring out the fullest potential in you in condemning certain thoughts. So if your thought is, gee, I just want to make as much money as I possibly can, and then I'll be happy, the Pope is kind of saying to you, you're not going to find happiness. Or if you're saying on a global level, what we need to do is just maximize profits so that way there won't be any poor. What the Pope is saying is, is you're misguided because you have to take into other considerations simple, other than simply just maximizing profits. And so the Pope isn't condemning a particular system of economics. As he says, he's indifferent to those types of things. He's not espousing a political ideology or a personal interest. Rather, he said, I'm calling us to create the most humane world that we can. And what I'm doing is laying forth some principles that are both inbounds and out of bounds. The principle inbound is that that says, we need to look and say, what's best for all people, basically, as we develop systems of economics. And he's saying what's out of bounds certainly is saying, let's just purely and indifferently look at profits and the numbers and everything else will take care of themselves. So it's been a source of controversy, yes. I can understand where some people would say the Pope has condemned capitalism, certainly. But I think that it's a little bit of an ethnocentric understanding. He's condemned a, an unfettered capitalism, perhaps, or a capitalism that seeks only profits and ignores everything else. Certainly, I would say that. And I think we should be with him in condemning such a thought process or an economic uh, system. But he's not saying that we need to close or open markets specifically. He's not addressing one specific policy. He's not saying that I endorse this policy and I reject this candidate's policy or something like that. What he's saying is we need to help all people and be concerned about all people when we think about these big picture systems such as our economy. And so I think that's the takeaway that we have from Evangelium Gaudium, Evangelii Gaudium. And I think that's what we need to reflect upon as we figure out how we can create a just world is it's not just about profits, but it's about people.